Hey hello everyone, in today's tutorial we will create this sprinting effect, so when you sprint, the uh, FOV will smoothly increase, so it feels more uh, like fast paced when you sprint. So, without further ado, let's start. So what I want to do first is to go to the first picture folder, blueprint, and then I want to go into the BP first picture character. And then, I want to go into the event graph and find the empty spot. And now I'm going to create the code for sprinting. So if you already have the code for sprinting, you don't need to do this, so you can just skip this. So you can just uh, skip this uh, part. But I will just make the code for sprinting quick. And if you don't have the code, you can follow me as well. So, so we want to get the left shift key. So right click and left shift key. Because I want to sprint with the left shift key. And now we want to drag out the character movement. So we get a reference to our character movement. And then drag it over here. And set max walk speed. And then just duplicate that. And drag you into the target. And then release will go into there. And pressed will go into there. So now when I sprint, I want the max walk speed to be set to 600. And then when I walk, I want the max walk speed to be the default walk speed. So if you don't know what the default walk speed is, just click on your character movement and you can see here max walk speed. So my max walk speed is set to 200. So I will set this max walk speed to 200 as well. So it's the default walk speed. So now the uh, sprinting code is all done and now let's follow on with the tutorial. So now out of here, we want to add a timeline. So add a timeline. And then just call it change FOV. Just like that. And then you will go into the reverse of the timeline. So when we walk, we want to reverse the timeline. So it's going back to the normal FOV. So now going into the timeline. We want to add a track. We want to add a flow track. And then just call it alpha. Then we want to change the length from 5 to let's say about 0.5. And the length is how long it will take to uh, increase the FOV when you're sprinting. So I want it to be kind of fast, so I will set the length to 0.5 seconds, but you can set to whichever number you want. So now I want to add a key, so hold down left shift and then left click. And this creates a key. Now the time will be set to 0, and the value will also be set to 0. Then I want to add another key, and the time will be set to 0.5. So it is at the end of the timeline, and the value will be set to 1, just like that. So now we can click these two icons up here, so click these two, and this will make it so that it fits to the screen. So now as you can see it is a, a straight line, but I want it to be more smooth, so I will right click on this key, and I will click on auto. As you can see it created this kind of curve, so it's much smoother. So now compile and save, and go to the event graph. So now we want to get a reference to our first person camera because we want to change the field of view inside of the first person camera. So drag out the uh, first person camera, just like that. So now we have a reference for it. And now drag out of here and I want to set field of view because we want to change the field of view when we're sprinting. So our update, we drag that in to the set field of view. And then out of here, we want to lerp. And the alpha will go into the alpha of the timeline. Now lerp is that it will change between these two values when you sprint and walk. So the A value is the default value for the FOV. So if you don't know the default value for your field of view, you can just click on the first person camera. And as you can see, my field of view is set to 90 for the default. So the A value will also be set to 90. Because it is the default field of view. And now when I sprint, I want the field of view to increase, so the B value will be set to, let's say, about 110. So now, when we sprint, the field of view will change to 110, so we will increase the field of view when we're sprinting to simulate a kind of fast-moving uh, effect. So yeah, that's the code done, and let's compile and save and see if it works. So now, as you can see, when we walk, it is the default FOV, but if we sprint, it smoothly increases and if we walk again it smoothly decreases to the default fov but there's one issue 
if you stand still and hold down shift, you can see that the FOV increases. So let's fix that right now, because we only want the FOV to increase when we're running. So let's fix that right now. So first of all, we want to get the W key, so right click and search for the W key. This one right there. And then we want to create a new variable, so click on this add right here and call it can sprint. Because we only want to sprint when we're walking. So drag out can sprint into the pressed. And then just duplicate that and drag it into the released. Just like that. So now the pressed is can sprint is of course true. So check the box to true on pressed. And here the release will be on false because we can't sprint. So now go down to the sprinting code. And then just drag you out a little bit. Then you want to hold down B and left click to create a branch. Now we just duplicate that. And the release will go into there and you will go into there. Just like that. So the condition of these two branch will be the can sprint. So drag the can sprint to the condition of the branch. Just like that. So now when we press left shift we are checking if we can sprint, and if we can sprint, so it is true, we want to follow on with the code, just like that. And the same here, if we release the left shift and we can sprint, so it is true, we want to follow on with the code. So now it should be working. So let's compile and save, and test it out. So now if I walk, the field of view is the default, but if I sprint, you can see that the field of view increases and it increases smoothly so it isn't snappy so yeah that's all i hope you like it and i'm sorry that i haven't been uploading in a while i'm very sure about that i will start to upload more i swear i promise so don't worry about that but yeah that's all i hope you like it and if you have any questions just uh, type them in the comments and also join our discord we have a big community over there and it is very nice to see you guys join the discord so yeah that's all i hope you like it and yeah.